Boxing Corner Casuals podcast, man. I told you lot, man. I told you, I told you, I told you. Um, some of the comments like this, 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 and this about Joshua before he fought in Garnu, I just had to laugh at. Um, how that fight went was every way that I expected it to go. Styles make fights, and I think that that style for Nganu was a problem. Um, he said exactly what I thought. I said exactly what he um, was going to do. He left his chin out. I think it's very dangerous to do it against this Joshua that we're seeing now, which is full of confidence. Um, not that he wasn't before, but I definitely think, you know, with the, with the added bit. Uh, help of Ben Davidson obviously coaching it's it's changed maybe some of his perspectives on what he needs to do like he said himself um but what a fight um for all fans people got what they wanted to see was a knockout um it made me laugh that people thought that it was going to go any other way that jo Ngannou would be even good enough to catch Joshua which isn't the case this one's for the MMA fans man sorry Sorry it had to be your boy, but yeah, we could go back now to seeing the fights that people at the boxing fans actually want to see. Um, take nothing away from Joshua's performance. It definitely caused conversation, but we do want to see the big British bout, Fury and Joshua. Hopefully Fury comes through against Usyk um, in his two-fight deal that he's got. And once he's done that, we can see quite possibly one of the biggest fights for a number of years, uh, especially in Britain. Um, so I think the result is what everyone wanted. Uh, yeah, Ngannou was just, he wasn't good enough on the night. That's to not take nothing away from Ngannou as well, because let's not forget, in a cage, he'd absolutely annihilate all these boxers. And I think you'd be stupid to think otherwise. But let's be honest, boxing brings the money in, which is why you will never see a boxer, boxer crossover to MMA. I think Higali was saying in his last fight in the UFC, he was paid 600 grand. Uh, the level or the magnitude of that fighter to fight on that stage, you think would be a lot more. Money's not in MMA, man. Sorry to admit it. Um, boxing brings the... Do you know what I mean? And that's, that's why you'll see MMA... Uh, fighters cross over hence why we've also seen the mma fighters cross over to youtube uh boxing so it's not even just conventional boxing it is all types of boxing um i always said this and i do think this that a lot of people say the models that dana white's the bellators have is much better than boxing models because they see the fights that you want to see and it's managed by one person but the issue with that being is the money is not there to entice the fighters to stay. Um, a lot of those fighters, obviously, in the U in specifically MMA, I feel don't make that money that they make in boxing. You look at McGregor; he left U UFC to come over to boxing. Mayweather, probably more he's earned in his entire MMA career. So yeah, boxing's where it's at, man. MMA fans are gonna have to hold that one. Combat kings are gonna have to hold that one. Um, but yeah, man, it, I did want to be a massive shout out to Joshua as well, because I do think for a, lot, a number of years, people have questioned him. And I just feel like no matter what he does, people will always question him. And let's not forget that he revived British boxing after he won his gold medal. And when he come up, he brought it back. Tyson Fury said it himself in an interview, you know, in terms of earning the money that he'd earned, you know, I don't think it would have been possible without Anthony Joshua. But I have seen already like people coming out and saying it, the fight was a fix. And I just think that you, you're you probably worse of a fan or boxing fan than I thought if you thought that fight was a fix. There were three good knock, two, three, two good knockdowns two, and then one knockout, obviously the third one, which kept Tengardu on the floor. Um, I think after the, the second knockdown... Uh, a lot of boxers are saying as well, it's very difficult, you know, especially where you're already stunned to keep your to keep that guard, obviously, that he was trying to keep against Joshua. And he, it, Joshua was just clean and um, precise of his punches. Um, that fight gone the way... I've said rounds four to six for a knockout and people call me mad. So what 
sort of round one to two, whoever gets that must be crazy in their books. Um, but I do think you'd be stupid to say otherwise. Now, you could say hindsight, but you could check out my previous videos where I actually said Joshua's going to knock in Garnu out. So, yeah, man, let me know what you lot think in the comments. MMA, hold that one, man.